Hello, I greet you with the peace of the Lord Jesus. This is another edition of the First International Seminar by Social Media. This is a publication this Tuesday, the 10th of November, and in this seminar, you're going to have quick classes that are objective for you to understand clearly God's project for your life. And today, we are going to talk about the theme, Salvation as a Resource of Grace to Access God's Presence. Let's start by reading a text from the Word of God that's in the letter of the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 19 to 32. Therefore, brothers, having boldness to enter into the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he consecrated by the veil, which is his flesh, and having a great high priest in the house of God, we come with a true heart in complete certainty of faith, having a heart that's purified of the evil conscience and the body washed that's clean, we remain firm on the confession of our hope that is the one as faithful as promised. I'd like to call your attention now for you to see how God's project of salvation takes place comparing it to the access to the presence of God. And the figure I'd like to use here is the tabernacle that God commanded Moses to build as a place to worship with the Israelites when they were pil pilgrimage from the desert to the Egypt in the promised land. In Exodus chapter 25, verse 8, his word says, And you will make for me a san sanctuary, and I will dwell there with you. And the project of salvation, first, man he is elected. And First Peter, verse 2, Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus, grace and peace would be multiplied to you. And the call, man, he enters into the door, and this door is Jesus. And by the fact of being elected, this man is called to enter into the door, and what he will find is the sacrifice, which was the place in the tabernacle where the service began to God. And this place of the sacrifice speaks of Jesus' sacrifice, and there man is invited to accept the sacrifice of Jesus, the Lamb that died in our place. And to accept the sacrifice of Jesus, this is salvation. Because entering through the door and going to the Holocaust, there the Israelite, he saw the Lamb that was killed, and he understood what God did for him. And from that moment, to give continuity to his access to the holy place, he needed to go to the bronze laver. And this represents the baptism in the waters. And the baptism is washing of the sins, and they are prepared to enter into the holy place. And the sanctuary represents the church. After the baptism, he starts to become a member of the body of Christ. He's part of the faithful church. And he who believes and is baptized will be saved, and he who doesn't believe is condemned. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. And from there, man, he is the target of God's to save. When the Father chooses and the Son calls, we are called in Jesus. Now that man accepts the act, he enters into the process of salvation. And this process consists of the sanctification of the Holy Spirit and to enter into the Holy Spirit, where we enter in by the high priest. And this high priest is the Lord Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, every time that we want to enter into the Holy of Holies, you are able. You only need to plead for the blood of Jesus, to plead always. And he poured out his blood once on the cross. But you can plead for the blood of Jesus as often as you need. In the holy place of the tabernacle, in the desert, there was a tent, which was the tent of the congregation. And in that tent, there were two places that were separated by a veil or a curtain, the holy place and the most holy place. In the most holy place, there was the Ark of the Covenant. And by the mercy seat, God spoke, will speak to you in between the cherubim. That's where God spoke to Moses. In Exodus chapter 25, verse 22, it says, And there I will go, and I will speak to you, above the mercy seat in the midst of the cherubim. 
that are over the ark of the testimony, all that I order the sons of Israel. And the wings of the cherubim that were on the mercy seat, they offered protection. And it's under the protection of the blood of Jesus that God, he has mercy on man and speaks to him. And that ark that's made of wood that was covered in gold, it speaks of the nature of the Lord Jesus. He, as a man, representing the wood, and he is covered by the, the gold, the power of the Father, and by the blood of Jesus, you can enter into the holy, holy place, even though you are wood, even though you are a man, but you can enter in through the power of the blood of Jesus, and he covers you with the power of God. And the Ark of the Covenant, and what was inside, we see the tablets of the lay, law, the, the manna, and the rod of Aaron that gave fruit, which shows the government of the Lord through the priesthood of Aaron. And in the holy place, you see there are three things. The first, God wants to speak to you through his word, through the doctrine that was represented as the, the, the law, the tablets of the law. Second, he wants to speak of the son, who is the, the bread, Jesus. Jesus is the food that the Father wants to give you at every moment because he is the bread of life. Jesus is as the manna in the Israelites in every day in their walk when they went through the desert. Every day, Jesus has a blessing to give you. Thus, as the manna is given and fell every day from heaven. And God also wants you to be governed or directed by the Holy Spirit, which is the rod of Aaron. And you have to observe something, that no one enters in the holy place except by the blood of Jesus, because the blood is the life of Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit. And Jesus, he took our sins over himself, and before entering into the veil that separates the holy from the holy of holies, the high priest, he went through the altar of incense, and this speaks of the fellowship, the holy place. You went through the bread, the bread, showbread, and you were aware that in the presence of God, the bread is always available, is always ready. And he also passed by the candlestick with the seven lights that were lit, which is the revelation, a God who reveals to you. And from there you enter into the holy place in the project of salvation. You find these three things, the election of the Father, the call of the Son, and the sanctification of the Holy Spirit. And the third is the most important, which is the sanctification. And we enter into the tabernacle from outside to inside. It's important you can speak to God because in there, it's God that speaks to you. Without sanctification, no one can see God as it says in Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace and, and with all and sanctification without which no one will see the Lord. And remember, God he only reveals to you if you are in the holy place, in the place of the presence of God. Plead for the blood of Jesus, that you may have access to this holy place in God's presence, this complete fellowship, because with this, you will enjoy what God has to give you and speak to your heart and to reveal to your life. Go in with boldness by the new and living way which is Jesus, the new, because he will reveal you new things always, and living, because he gives you life that's in eternal. Enter into the holy place, which is the presence of God. It's through boldness, as the Bible text in Hebrews 10, 19, that says, God wants, wants us to go him with the complete certainty of faith, as Hebrews 10, 22 says, because he is faithful that promises this reflection was written by the pastors Gil Chigueros and Gilson Souza. And so we end this first sequence of the International Seminar by Social Networks. And next Tuesday, on the 17th of November, we are going to start a new edition with a new theme here by the social media. We wait next Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. And we desire you all peace to the Lord Jesus.